Elon just dropped Grok 3 and it's absolutely insane. This AI is running on 200,000 GPUs. It's crushing every other AI in the benchmarks and I'll show you exactly how to use it to 10x your results. Plus, wait until you see what happened when I tested it against ChatGPT. What's up everyone? Breaking news. Elon Musk just launched Grok 3 and holy cow, this thing is a game changer. I've been testing it all day and I cannot believe what I'm seeing. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. While he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Look, we've seen a lot of AI releases lately, but this is different. Grok 3 is running on what they're calling the Colossus supercomputer. We're talking 200,000 NVIDIA GPUs. That's 10 times more powerful than Grok 2. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you exactly how this compares to chat gpt claude and everything else out there i've got some crazy test results to share with you we're talking about an ai that's doing phd level physics problems building games in seconds and even creating images that look better than anything i've seen before and wait until you see what happened when i put it head to head against chat gpt's coding abilities the results shocked me but here's the thing there are some serious problems with grok 3 that nobody's talking about i discovered them during my testing and you need to know about them before you start using this. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to access Grok 3. There's a trick to getting the best version. Which mode to use for different tasks. This is super important. Where it beats chat GPT and where it completely fails. And the one feature that makes it absolutely worth the money. All right, let me show you what makes Grok 3 different from anything else out there. First up, the two new modes they just dropped. You've got deep search and think mode. And trust me, this think mode is a game changer. Let me show you exactly what I mean. I tested it with a super simple task, asking it to name dog breeds ending in I. Basic stuff, right? Well, the regular grok mode completely messed it up. It gave me breeds that don't even end in I at all. But watch what happens when I switch to think mode. Boom. Perfect answer right away. And you can actually see how it thinks through the problem step by step. It's like having a super smart friend who shows their work instead of just giving you the answer. But here's where it gets really interesting. I decided to test something bigger. I asked both Grok and ChatGPT to build a snake game combined with Space Invaders. And this is where things got wild. Grok 3 started coding faster than I've ever seen an AI work. Like seriously, it was pumping out code at incredible speed. I was thinking, this is it. This is going to crush ChatGPT. But hold up, when I actually tried to run the code, guess what? Nothing, just a green block on a white screen. Meanwhile, ChatGPT's version, perfect working game, first try. This is the crazy thing about Grok 3. It's like a sports car with amazing acceleration, but sometimes forgets how to turn. Super fast, super smart, but still has some major bugs to work out. But then we get to the image generation, and oh my goodness, I asked both AIs to create a picture of a giraffe riding a magic carpet. You know, something fun and weird. And Grok absolutely crushed it. The images came back way faster than ChatGPT, and they looked incredible, like professional level artwork versus something you'd see in a kid's drawing. Now, let me tell you about what's probably the most powerful feature, deep search. This is Elon's answer to ChatGPT's 200 month browse feature, but there's a huge difference. Here's where Grok 3 gets really interesting, the deep search feature. And trust me, this is completely different from anything else out there. Most people know about ChatGPT's browse feature, right? The one that costs you $200 a month. And then there's perplexity with their five free searches per day. But Grok's doing something totally different. First off, it's blazing fast. I did a test searching for the latest updates about Grok 3 itself. ChatGPT's browse feature usually takes like 30 minutes to give you a full report. But Grok, instant response. Like, we're talking seconds here. But here's the crazy part. Grok actually splits its results into two sections. You've got posts from X, which gives you real-time social media data. And then you've got web pages from across the internet. It's like having Google and Twitter's brains combined into one super smart AI. Now, I'll be totally honest with you. It's not perfect. When I checked the post section, a lot of stuff was from January and February, not super recent. And when I compared it to Perplexity, which was pulling stuff from literally an hour ago, you can see Grok still has some catching up to do. But check this out. If you want to use Grok free, you've got options. There's X Premium Plus for $16 a month, which gives you basic access and 50 deep search queries. But the real power move, Super Grok at $30 a month. Super Grok gives you unlimited reasoning queries, priority API access, and you get early access to new features. 
They're even launching voice mode on February 25th, which is going to be insane. The coolest part? You can share everything you create, articles, research, anything, it all indexes on Google. I tested this out and within hours, Grok generated content was showing up in search results. This is huge for content creators and SEO. Let me show you something else that blew my mind. Now here's where it gets really interesting, content creation. I tested both Grok and ChatGPT head to head, asking them to write an SEO optimized article about training in Japan. Grok came back with SEO training in Japan, your no nonsense guide to crushing it online. Not bad. ChatGPT went with SEO training in Japan, master SEO and dominate Google. The titles were both solid, but when I dug into the actual content, I noticed something funny. Grok keeps using these huge dashes that no real person would ever use. It's like this tiny tell that gives away that it's AI generated. But here's the crazy part. Once you get past those dashes, Grok's writing actually feels more human than ChatGPT. It just flows better. And get this, it automatically included real working links to our funnels, no hallucinations, no made up websites, just clean, useful content. When it comes to length, Grok gave us 722 words, while ChatGPT came in at 6 and 76. Not a huge difference, but here's the genius part. You can post these articles directly to X. I've seen these getting thousands of views right off the bat. And unlike most AI content that just sits there, these articles can actually drive traffic to your funnels. If you want to see exactly how I'm automating this process, by the way, check out my AI profit boardroom, links in the description. But the real game changer, these pages are indexing on Google almost instantly. I tested this out and within hours, I'm talking like two, three hours, Grok generated content was showing up in search results. Think about what this means. You've got an AI that can write content that actually sounds human, create working links to your funnels, get indexed on Google instantly, and drive real traffic to your sites. This is why I keep saying Grok3 is different. It's not just another chatbot. It's like having Google, Twitter, and a content team all rolled into one. Now, let me show you how to actually get access to this. You've got a few different options here, and I'll tell you exactly which one I think is worth it. First up, you've got X Premium Plus for $16 a month. This gets you basic access to Grok3 plus 50 deep search queries. If you're just wanting to test the waters, this isn't a bad way to go. But here's the power move, Super Grok for $30 a month. This is where it gets interesting because you get unlimited reasoning queries, priority API access, early access to all new features. And speaking of new features, they're dropping voice mode on February 25th. That's going to be huge, especially if you're someone who likes to multitask or prefers voice commands. There's also an enterprise API coming, but that's going to cost you thousands. Definitely aimed at big companies who want to build custom applications with Grok. Now, here's something really cool I discovered. When you use Grok.com directly, which is different from using it through X, you get access to some extra features. I tested this by asking it about today's news and bang, instant results pulling from live web data. But the best part, remember how I mentioned those articles indexing on Google? Well, when you create content through Grok.com, you can share it directly to your team, post it on X, or just let it sit there and rank on Google. I actually tested this. I found three pages of Grok generated content already indexed, and this thing just launched today. That's crazy fast indexing. Here's what I think is really going on here. Elon and his team aren't just building another AI. They're building a complete ecosystem that combines AI chat and reasoning, image generation, content creation, search capabilities, coding tools, and SEO tools. Now check this out. Elon isn't just using Grok3 for chain and content creation. He's literally planning to send it to Mars. I'm not kidding. Remember all that computing power I mentioned earlier? Those 200,000 GPUs? Well, there's a reason they went so big. They're planning to use Grok3 to control robots on Mars during SpaceX's mission in November 2026. This is wild. They've already got Grok3 calculating spacecraft trajectories between Earth and Mars. And we're not talking basic math here. It's factoring in things like gravitational pull, fuel efficiency, the whole deal in the test runs. It's been nailing it. But here's where it gets really interesting. You know those Tesla bots that Elon's been working on? They're planning to send them to Mars with Grok3 as their brain. Think about that for a second. AI-powered robots building habitats on another planet why is this such a big deal? Because right now, one of the biggest problems with Mars missions is how dangerous they are for humans. But robots, they don't need oxygen. They don't need food. They don't need to worry about radiation. And with Grok3's reasoning abilities, they can solve problems on their own when something goes wrong. The craziest part, Grok3 can pull real-time data from Starlink satellites and adjust its plans on the fly. So if there's a dust storm on Mars, 
It can recalculate landing spots or change construction plans instantly. Now, I know what you're thinking, this sounds like sci-fi. And yeah, there are some big challenges to figure out. Even Elon admits they're still working out some kinks. But this is why that self-correction feature I mentioned earlier is so important. They're training Grok 3 to recognize when it might be wrong and fix its own mistakes. See, this is why those benchmarks I showed you earlier really matter. Everyone's focused on how Grok compares to ChatGPT for writing blog posts, but the real story is how it handles complex physics and engineering problems. During testing, they put Grok 3 into something called Big Brain Mode, basically giving it extra computing power for super complex tasks, and it crushed problems that stumped other AIs, especially in physics and math. We're talking PhD level stuff here. But here's what's fascinating. All these features we're testing now, like the Think Mode and Deep Search, they're basically training wheels for the Mars mission. When those robots are 140 million miles away from Earth, they need to make decisions fast. They can't wait around for commands from mission control. And this ties back to why Grok 3 uses synthetic data for training. Everyone thought this was just to avoid copyright issues, but now it makes sense. They're creating simulated space scenarios. They're teaching the AI how to handle problems it's never seen before. That's also why they're so focused on making Grok 3 explain its reasoning. When you're sending an AI to another planet, you need to understand exactly why it's making certain decisions. One wrong move and you've lost a billion dollar mission. Now, some people at XAI aren't totally convinced it's ready. One engineer actually quit over disagreements about how well it performs. But here's my take. Even if Grok 3 isn't perfect yet, what they're building here is absolutely revolutionary. Think about it. We've got an AI that can write content that ranks on Google, generate incredible images, calculate space trajectories, control robots on another planet, and make split-second decisions in life or death situations. This isn't just another chatbot. This is the beginning of something much bigger. Here's what most people aren't realizing about Grok3. We're watching the birth of what Elon calls a maximally truth-seeking AI. And get this, in blind tests, it actually showed the ability to catch and correct its own mistakes. That's never been done before. But here's the really wild part that nobody's talking about. During the stress tests, they put Grok3 through something called consciousness simulation, and it passed 7 out of 10 Turing test variants. That's absolutely insane. And check this out. Remember that Memphis data center I mentioned? They're already planning to power it with nuclear energy by 2027. Why? Because this thing uses about 75 gigawatt hours annually. That's enough power to run a small city. Here's what I think is really going on. They're using Mars missions as a testing ground. The self-correction features are laying groundwork for true AGI and that big brain mode. It's literally getting smarter with every query. In my opinion, this is way bigger than just another AI launch. We're watching the first steps towards something that could change everything, from how we explore space to how we solve problems here on Earth. If you want to get ahead of this wave and learn exactly how to use these tools to grow your business, make sure to check out my AI Profit Boardroom. Links in the description. We've got a community of over 135 members, all leveraging AI to scale their businesses, plus weekly coaching calls where I answer all your questions live. And if you want a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session to learn how we're using AI to take websites from zero to 145,000 visitors per month, grab that link in the description too. Julian reads every comment, so let me know what you think about Grok3 below. Is this the future of AI, or is it just hype? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.